guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? I am not sure what day you are seeing this. You are probably seeing this on Saturday, March 12th. I'm not sure. Uh, this is a part two of, I'm not sure how many parts for the first update for Wings Donations for March. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Rose. I like to crochet. I like yarn a lot and I make stitch markers. Go check out my Etsy shop. And this channel along with uh, you guys uh, for the past two years have been doing handmade donations for a domestic violence organization called Wings, which is based here in the Chicago area, which is where I'm at. So they have asked for specific items every month. And for the month of March, they asked for lightweight shawls and ponchos. And for the month of February, which we're still getting some stragglers in, they asked for little amigurumi or dolls so they could put in Easter baskets for the kids. So I got a total of 32 items in the past couple days and um, it's just taking too long to make the videos and YouTube is not letting me upload um, <laughs> upload those super long videos. My phone's not letting me do it either. So I'm breaking this apart into a couple different parts and I think this is part two. So stay tuned. I think we're going to do like 10 or 11 um, boxes that we're going to open if I can get through more we'll see if we can do that um but I have a lot so <laughs> um if you want to see the list for wings go down below in the description box you can also check out the wings playlist and anyone that I talk about the links will be down below in the description box now, if you would like to donate and you have a question, please feel free to send me an email at roselikescrochet at gmail.com. I also encourage you to leave positive comments on the videos. And if you're a donator or if you just need some uh, good vibes, come back after a day or two and read all the comments because they're pretty amazing um, what they say. They say nice things about you, I promise. So if you're watching this out of order, I would recommend going back to part one because I did announce five winners for February thank you gifts. And those people only have seven days from yesterday to <laughs> from March 11th to send me an email so we can get their thank you gifts out to them. Okay, so we're just gonna get started. If you need more information, check down below in the description box or look at part one because there's some pretty cool things in there. So the first box that we're gonna open today is from Jax and she is from Washington and she actually has a YouTube channel here and it's called Creations by Jax. So if you guys could go and show her some love, she does a lot of good things um, for a hat, not hate she's designed some hat patterns for them and she's also my moderator here when I go live which is not very often but anyway thank you Jax she also helped with our auction too we had a live auction and we raised over five thousand dollars for wings in January so thank you Jax for all that you've done for wings and for me I do appreciate it anyway she sent a box and she sent this adorable card and I'm going to say that this applies to all of you guys too, because you guys are so amazing to be helping me with this cause. And I really do appreciate it. Okay. She writes, hi, Rose. Enclosed are a couple of shawls for March wings. I had one more, but the cotton made it too heavy. In the purple bag is a thank you gift for our participants. Love, Jax. Aw, oh, Jax, you didn't have to do that. And she sent me a smelly too. It's like, um... Lavender. Oh my God, it smells so good. Okay, so we're going to go through the shawls first and then we'll look at the, the thank you. <laughs> the thank you bag. Oh my God, this is so cool. Okay, so she's got a tag on this one and it says it's called Count My Blessings Shawl by OM Granny Square. And this is using DK Colors 100% acrylic. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, so the fuzzy's not the DK color. She obviously used an eyelash yarn, but look at this pattern. Look at this shawl, it is so pretty. Oh my gosh. And then look at the fuzzies. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty, Jax. Thank you so much for sharing the pattern. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Like, I want this. I'm kidding, I'm not gonna keep it. It's so pretty. Okay, and then she sent another one. This is called Pineapples on the Boardwalk. This is by none other than Spring the Fiber Enthusiast. She has a YouTube channel too. Hi, Spring. And the yarn that she used is called Yarn Bee Lux Lollies, and it's 100% acrylic. Now, I know that that yarn is no longer available, and uh, it was on clearance. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Okay, I'll have to show you in like sections, you guys. Okay, so here is 
I hope you guys can see it. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Wow, I'm gonna keep going so I can show you. Jax, this is gorgeous. Spring, what a beautiful pattern. Oh my gosh, you guys can see the pineapples down there, right? That is beautiful. So if you guys are interested in that pattern, go over to Spring the Fiber Enthusiast. It looks like this is one of her patterns. And go and check it out. And Jax, thank you so much for making these beautiful shawls. Okay, so then she's got this purple bag and this is a giveaway. Not for this video, but I'll save it for uh, a month down the line. And what does she have in here? Okay, so she's got, oh my gosh, so pretty. Can I give away the bag too? Okay, so she's got some Sheep G's. Stonewash uh, XL, and then she's got a Cascade Yarns Tangier. So those three, and oh, there's two, two of those. Okay, so we have two of these, and then we have two of these. And so that will be um, one of the, it'll be a thank you gift. Thank you so much for sending this, Jax. I'm gonna put it right back in the bag, and that'll go on the list for the thank you prizes. Um, I don't know, maybe March, maybe April. Who knows, we'll have to see. But thank you so much for donating them. I really do appreciate it. Okay, next. All right, the next box comes from Linda. She's my good buddy. She's from, from Florida. And there's the card. Oh, you guys are so sweet. It was sparkly. She writes, Dear Rose, Carrots, and the Zoo. Hope you are all doing well. I love being a part of this wonderful and fun group. Here is a shawl I made for wings. It always gives me joy to make someone smile. I hope this shawl will. Love, Linda from Florida. Okay, so she's got the tag in here. She used Lion Brand Comfy Cotton Fetty. And then she wrote on the bag, the shawl pattern is the easy beginner, super simple shawl from Marley Bird. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty. I know you guys can see how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous and perfect for summer too, right? Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Linda, for sending this beautiful shawl. I do appreciate it. I know the ladies will appreciate it too. You do beautiful, beautiful work. Okay, next. All right, you guys, the next box came all the way from Canada too, and this is from Karina. And she says, hi Rose, I hope you are doing well. Here is a summary of the patterns and yarns that I used to complete my shawls. You guys, she had this beautifully packaged in their all in Ziploc bags. They have the, the name of the pattern, they have the yarn label on it. I'm gonna show you guys. Oh my gosh, you're so organized. Okay, so this particular one is using Hayfield Bonus DK Extra Value. Shade is Lagoon Blue, if you guys wanna check out the label. I don't know where, where you would get that from. Little Knits, Webs, <laughs> somewhere like that. And it says it is the Serene Lines Shawl. And let me see if it says anything else here. It's on Ravelry, Serene Lines Shawl by Therese Ousted. It's a paid pattern. Okay, so, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I know you guys can see. Oh, how gorgeous is that? Shut the front door, are you kidding me? And look at the edges. Oh my gosh, Karina, this is so pretty. Wow, it is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, I gotta make sure I put these all back in the right bag. <laughs> and then there is another one of the same pattern, and that is this one. But this is using, um, let me see here. Okay, so it's the same pattern, and she used Brava Sport. And uh, let me see if it has a color. Color is seash seashell? Color is seashell. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. I need to go and check out this pattern. It is gorgeous. Look at that, you guys. I know you can see how so pretty that is. <gasps> wow, thank you so much for sending this. Oh my gosh, okay, there's one more, you guys. And this one is also using Brava Sport Weight and the color is called Cotton Candy. But this one is a different pattern. This is called um, the Red Heart Friendship Shawl. It's a free pattern on Yarnspirations. And this is a rectangle shawl. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Okay, so here you go, guys. I'm gonna show you the end. So gorgeous. And here's, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. This is so pretty, Karina. 
thank you so much for sending these beautiful shawls all the way from Canada. I appreciate anyone that sends anything, even if you're from the United States. You guys, shipping is so ridiculously expensive that um, I really do appreciate anyone who sends anything, no matter where you're sending it from. So Karina, thank you so much. The shawls are absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna put them back in the bags. All right, and we'll get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next box comes from Jennifer and she's from Missouri. Hi, Jennifer. And she has a note here. It was a box full of shawls and she's got seven shawls in here. So I'm gonna see if I can figure out which one is which based on the, the, the name of the <laughs> yarn maybe, okay. So she says the blue, purple, and yellow is the Happy Birthday Wrap by Fiber Flux. Um, blue, purple, and yellow. I'm going to say it's maybe this one. I am not sure. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. <gasps> wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here, let me show. I think this is the one. I could be wrong. That is just gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, the Robin's Egg Purple and Green is the Butterfly Stitch Prayer Shawl um, by Fiber Spider. So this should be easy because there's only one butterfly. <laughs> All right, so that is this one. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty that is. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, okay. The green, yellow, and brown one is the Pineapple Shawl by Fiber Spider. Um, let me see, is this a Pineapple Shawl? This looks like, this is the Pineapple Shawl. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty, you guys. Look at the pineapples on the bottom. And they're so pretty. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Okay, the white, gray, green is the Summer Love Poncho by Jada in Stitches. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Wow, that's big too. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely gorgeous. And then she says the mint, gray, green is the, I'm sorry, the mint, gray, and white is the Granny Merge Shawl by Fiber Spider. Okay, so I don't know if this is it. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Mint gray and white, that's probably it. That is so gorgeous, oh my gosh. Okay, the pink, purple, and mint is the Virus Shawl by Fiber Spider. I love the Virus Shawl. Oh my gosh, this is so, so pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh, and all these are so nice and light. Thank you so much. All right, and then she says the pink, dark pink, and gray variegated is the Modern Granny Shawl by Fiber Spider. Oh my God, you cannot go wrong with a granny shawl, right? That is just so pretty. I love that pattern. And then she says, I so enjoyed making these and learning the different stitches. Thank you for collecting as my area isn't accepting handmade items yet from Jennifer. Well, Jennifer, thank you so much for sending all of these beautiful, beautiful shawls. Oh my gosh, I want to wear them all, but I'm not going to. I'm going to give them to Wings. So, all right, let's get to the next one. So the next box comes from Jolene and she's from Iowa and she sent this beautiful card and it says, Dear Rose, enclosed find three shawls plus some yarn to add to a giveaway. The top one is Jada and Stitch's Vintage Lace Shawl done with Premier DK Yarns. Okay, so I think that might be this one because I already took them out of the box, so I don't remember what was on top. <laughs> All right, so here is this one. Oh, it's like a long um, crescent one. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Here, so you guys can see the colors. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. And then she says, the second one is the Pineapple Lace Shawl in Red Heart Croquet Yarn. Okay, so I think that's this. Oh my gosh, it is so sparkly. Check that out. Okay, so it's a rectang rectangle, you guys. I know you probably can't see the sparkle. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And it keeps going. Oh! <laughs> Oh my gosh, gorgeous. 
And then she says the last one is from a Mary Maxim kit, but I can't locate the pattern. I think I made it and threw out the pattern since it took forever and I didn't think I'd make it again. I hope they are all okay. Thanks, Rose, and have a wonderful spring from Jolene. <laughs> Yes, that's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. I don't know, can you guys see that? It's so gorgeous. Yeah, it does look like it would take forever, huh? <laughs> well, thank you for sending in this item that took forever. I do appreciate it. Okay, so I'm going to show you the yarn that she sent, and we'll make this another thank you gift too. So she sent in a Premier Sweet Roll DK, and then she sent in some Yarn B. What is this? Comfy Classic. She sent in one of those. And then we've got a Premier Rio. Oh, that's like really soft. And then we've got a, a Noro. Wow, that's awesome. And then we have three of these uh, Euro Baby Soft Cotton Worsted. So there's three of those. So I will put these back in the box and we will make that another um, thank you gift giveaway. So thank you so much, Jolene, for sending in all of these beautiful shawls. I really do appreciate it. And again, if you guys can leave a positive comment down below, it really does make a difference um, just for anyone who's popping by and especially for the people who have donated. You know, put down what your favorite shawl is or what your favorite amigurumi is. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next box came from someone in Oregon and they did not put a name um, on the return address and there was no note in the box. So for anyone who is in Oregon who sent this, thank you so much, you know who you are. So I am going to show you what was in the box. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Okay, so here are some bunnies. Oh my gosh, they are all sparkly, you guys. Oh my gosh, they are beautiful. Here is another one. So cute, I love the little ears. And then here are like two little, I don't know why these puppy dogs. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. They're little tiny ones. And then there was a, um, a lip balm in there. Maybe I'll throw that in one of the giveaway boxes. Thank you so much. And then there were some, sh there's two shawls, you guys. Okay, this one, the tag on here says it is from Lang Yarns Dipinto, and there is also a hair tie attached to it. And here is, oh, it's a poncho. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Hold on, you guys, you have to see this. Okay, so here is the poncho. That's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love this. And then the second item here comes with a hat. Let me see if I can oh, show you guys. Okay, so this is also a poncho. It is so pretty and it is like soft and fuzzy. Oh my gosh, and it comes with a hat. How adorable is that set? Oh my gosh, whoever you are from Oregon, thank you so much for sending. These are absolutely gorgeous and so soft. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. All right, next. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Denise and Denise is from Minnesota and there was no note in the package, but I'm gonna show you these gorgeous dolls. <gasps> no way. Look at how beautiful that is. Okay, so there's one. These are all looking like the same pattern, but obviously a little bit of a difference in the hair and the colors. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Denise, if you can, let us know where you got the pattern from for these. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then here is a regular doll. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. That is amazing. Denise, thank you so much for sending these. They're absolutely gorgeous. Leave a comment and let us know what pattern you use because this is like so cute. Like I might, never mind, I'm not going to be able to do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Sandra and she's from Virginia and she sent me a card. So pretty. I'm so glad to participate in the worthy cause for wings. Here are two virus ponchos made with three weight lion brand mandala yarn. Thanks from Sandra. Oh my goodness. You guys, I don't know. I've only made like head, like heavy ponchos. Maybe I should think about making these little light ones. Look at how gorgeous that is. I need to try this for sure. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Okay, and then here is the other one. Oh, I totally wanna do this, you guys. 
Look at that. So pretty. Sandra, thank you so much for sending in these beautiful ponchos. I really do appreciate you sending these in. They are absolutely gorgeous. Okay, next. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Claire and she's from South Carolina. And there's these two adorable stuffies in there. Oh my gosh, they're like nice and like packed. That is amazing. Look at how cute he is. Oh my gosh, Claire, how adorable. And then here is another one, a doll. And look at the hair. Oh my gosh, Claire, this is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for sending in these gorgeous, gorgeous toys. I really do appreciate it. This is awesome. I'm so excited to go bring these over to Wayne's. All right, we got, I think, two more for this video, guys. All right, you guys, the next box comes from Stephanie and she's from California and she left a note in the package and she said, this is the half circle eyelet shawl from the Happy Crafty Homemaker, which is Carrie Penny. Hi, Carrie. And she said this was done in yarn bee, sugar wheel cotton. It's a number three yarn and it's 100% cotton. And she put the care instructions on there and look at this, you guys, are you ready? <gasps> Wow, Za! Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I need to try this, you guys. Oh my gosh, Carrie Penny is amazing. Wow, thank you so much for sending this in. I just want to hold it up because it's so pretty. <laughs> All right, we're going to do one more package for this part, and then we will try and do the rest of them in another video. Hang on, guys. All right, you guys, the last package for this update comes from Diane, and she is from a town here in Illinois, so hi, neighbor, and she did send me a note, and she goes, hi, Ro dear Rose, I hope you and your family are well and keeping warm. All the February amigurumi and toys are wonderful, and everyone is creative and talented. Here are my March donations for wings. Okay, so she says, and she had them all kind of separated, so I hope I'm getting the right ones here. Okay, so she's got blue cotton poncho um is that this one? Oh, that is this one. Oh my gosh hold on i have it the wrong way <laughs> okay so here we go there is the blue cotton poncho i hope you guys it's definitely a prettier blue than what's showing up and she says it's called the easy breeze topper from simply crochet magazine april of 2020 Oh my gosh. And it looks like she used Yarn Bee Rapology Hues for that. And the color is called Bittersweet. Bittersweet. Oh my gosh. So pretty. So pretty. Thank you so much for that one. Okay. I'm going to try and keep the tags with everything here. <laughs> All right. And then she says the chocolate chip mint poncho is a variation of the easy breezy shawl from fiber spider so i think that might be this one. Oh my goodness gracious here we go there you go that is awesome so pretty holy smackerels okay and then she says the gelato shawl is a variation of heathered eyelets wrap from fiber flux and i don't know which one that is gelato maybe that's this one and this one was using a Lion Brand cupcake. Maybe the color is called gelato. It's called gelato. Okay, so this is the right one. So it is folded in half here. Again, she says this is a variation of heathered eyelets wrap from fiber flux. So that is that one. Oh my gosh, these are just so pretty. Wow, like you guys are amazing. Okay, uh, green cotton shawl. Um, that's this one and an orange acrylic shawl are from Olga Poltava, how to crochet a lacy summer scarf with cotton. Okay, so this one is using Sinfonia and I think this was clearance, yeah, clearance at Hobby Lobby. So that's this green one right here. And again, it's folded in half, so I'll leave it folded. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. <gasps> Wow, za. And then this one she is she said is the same pattern. <laughs> and let's see. This yarn is 
Ha uh, Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek DK from Hobby Lobby. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. These are just gorgeous. I never think of making rectangle shawls. <clears throat> the gray black cotton shawl. Let's see here. Um, is the cake and candle shawl from the Secret Yarnery. So this was using Red Heart It's a Wrap Rainbow. And here is this one. I'm going to leave it like that, you guys. Look at that. <gasps> so pretty. I am actually using the exact same color uh, to make a dragon belly shawl. Who would have guessed it, right? <laughs> All right. And then we have the peacock shawl, which let me see which one it is. Okay, that's this one here. This is using Rainbow Rhapsody and Peacock from Hobby Lobby. She said this is called the Watermelon Cocktail Shawl from Made by CM. Oh my goodness. Shut the front door on this one. Look at that, you guys. Oh, what? No way. I need to go check that one out. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Okay, and then the gray lace shawl is the Starlight Evening Shawl from Lion Brand Patterns. Okay, so this is another rectangle. I'll leave it folded in half. That is gorgeous. She used loops and threads wool-like on that one. And then she says the pink, gray, and white cotton shawl is Vintage Peach one skein crochet triangle shawl from Annie Design Crochet. And this is the label from that one. Oh my gosh, so light and pretty and gorgeous. Wow, za. Let me see if there's anything else. Thanks for letting us contribute and help wings. Happy March from Diane. Diane, thank you so much for sending all of these amazing, amazing shawls. I'm going to make sure that the label stays with them. That way, if they need the care instructions, they have them. So thank you so much. Okay, so you guys, that's it for this part. I know these are crazy long and I apologize for that, but keep an eye out for part three. It'll either be tomorrow or the next day after that. So thank you so, so much for everyone who contributes to Wings. Please like and share this video and make sure you leave a positive comment down below. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.